All right, I think Jack's ready to go sitting in the hot seat. Jack, it's your turn. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Oh, did we lose it again? Wait. Thank you. Okay, we got it. Yeah. Oh, man, how did they get it again? All right, Jack. Let's talk about this season from your perspective now and uh, how this baseball season has been from your experience. You guys are 10 and 5, obviously pretty successful this year, but from your perspective, what's the season been like? Uh, I think it was pretty successful. We're having, we're on a hot streak with hitting. Pitching's doing all right, but we still have a couple errors that we need to fix in the fields and just not, not much to it though. What were some team goals you guys set this year coming into the season that you guys wanted to achieve as a, as a program? Uh, just stay together, work hard and finish, try and make a tournament run. When you go on the mound as a pitcher, too, to try to close things out or whenever you go on the mound, what's your kind of mentality? Is there a shift in mentality when you're on the mound as opposed to when you're in the field? And if so, what is that? I I normally get excited when I'm on the mound because I just like striking kids out. and it, it always – everybody gets excited when we're going on a streak and strikeouts are happening and all of that. So I'm, I take it that you like the strikeout. So I'm going to ask this: what's what's the better feeling, the big strikeout or a big hit that scores some some big runs in a game? Probably a bigger hit. What is one of the biggest hits you've ever had in your baseball career? Probably in Cooperstown. I had three of them, and two of them were tanks. And he looks at it with fond memories. Um, when you look at this Wyndham baseball team, what makes you proud to wear the colors and, and represent the school system? Everybody stays together. We just – it's all, it's a great environment to work with and play with and all, all of the stuff that goes to it. Uh, just enjoying some of the kids. Like one of my favorite players is Cam, and he just – he makes it fun. He makes it really fun. When you go into playing this with this team too, I mean, you guys are, you said on a hot streak, another 10 runs that you scored the other night. Uh, just talk about how much work that you've seen yourself put into uh, the bat in the off season and before this season has started and what you're seeing from the other team and how much work they've put in. Uh, I know before the season started, me and my brother were in the gym hitting in the cage because we just got new bats and stuff and we wanted to try them out. So, we were in there sometimes late at night just hitting and having fun, I guess. I asked you about the team goals earlier. I'm going to ask you now about your personal goals that you set for yourself coming into this season. What were some personal goals you had? Uh, probably just hit, hit, strikeouts, just play hard, do my best. What is the go-to sunflower seed and or Gatorade combination? Ranch and, and grape. That is uh, that, that that's unique. Uh, I'll give you that. Um, when you uh, are in the dugout with with this team, and we know baseball, they love to do the the dugout. They love to get loud. What's kind of the some of the dugout routines for this Wyndham team? What are some of the things that they like to do? They said some of the things they like to say. Some of the things they like to chirp in that dugout. Just like to get loud, and uh, we have a. I don't know. have a little like mascot. It's 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 named Cujo, and it's a little guy with a cowboy hat and long hair, and he's on a chain. So like, if somebody does something good, he, we take him off the fence and put him on the person. We always yell mine and all this and that. It's just just like to stay really loud <laughs> and. Letting them, uh, letting them hear it from the bomber dugout too. I asked you about the the sunflower seed of the uh, the Gatorade combination. If you were to have your own flavor, uh, what would it be, or would you invent a new one for a Gatorade or seed? Call it Eye on the Prize for uh, for the flavor. Uh, probably like a, I don't know, honestly, probably some sort of chip, like Doritos. Ooh. Doritos would be a good one. Dorito flavored Gatorade. That's it. That you know, oh, not Gatorade. Gatorade, not Gatorade. Seeds. Oh, I thought, okay. Seeds. Okay. I thought we were talking Gatorade. I was okay. gonna wait, wait a minute. Um, what What are some of your role models that you've had going through this baseball journey to to kind of inspire you 
uh, to do better and to be better? Uh, my dad. My dad was in the minor leagues and I want to go big in other sports and this sport, but not really much to it. I mean, he was a great athlete. I like to be like him, probably more than him. When, when you when you think about all the coaching that your dad's had and influence in your life over over the years uh, what's some of the best advice that your dad has ever given you as a as a coach or as a father uh not how you start it's how you finish because if you don't if you start great and finish crap they're gonna remember the end of the game not the beginning of the game we asked uh, chase about his dynamic with coach and, and the dad and what's that dynamic like for you being coached by your dad and and being able to to take the game home with you and, and be able to have conversations even off the field at home uh it, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool because at times when you're doing good he'll compliment you all that but when you have a slump or something he'll get on you really hard and he'll push you he'll push you really hard trying to get you to fix your mistakes and everything you talk about all these personalities that are on this team. What is the one player on the team that can make you laugh no matter what the situation Cam. is? Camden Hoskins. He had that answer ready, Ty, before you even finished the question. He was uh, quick with the gun on that. What's the, what's one of the goofiest things he's done then this season? Or what's one of the things that just got you, that got you cracking up with that dugout? He's always smiling. He never stops smiling. We try to get him to make a serious face when he's hitting, but he can't. He can't do it. I think it's physically impossible. Um, you're a student athlete, of course, at Wyndham. Talk about the student aspect, what your favorite subjects are, and, and what kind of things you like studying. Uh, biology is probably my favorite class to uh, study in. It's it's easy to me, and I it's cool learning about like all the cells and all this and that. Are there any teachers in the school system that have been a, a crucial role to your journey and maybe impacted uh, your schooling or, or your baseball or sport life? Uh, Mr. Pennell, Mr. Pressel, Mr. Hankins, Mr. States, and uh, that's probably it. Talk about what it means to you representing such a, a smaller school and where it's an environment where everyone knows each other. What kind of pride do you take in representing a, a smaller school every time you go out there, whether it be on the field or just out in public? I like to make it seem like we're a top school in, in the state, even though we're so small. It's just it's so nice because you can do a lot of stuff with a lot, not a lot of people, but everybody knows what you want to do and you always know it's not like you're walking around and you see somebody and you're like, Oh, I don't know that person. It's, you know, that person and you try to talk to them. Like you said, a small school, probably one that a lot of people outside of the, the community don't talk about too much. Do you guys ever have that chip on your shoulder where you always have to prove yourselves to people and always want to go out and kind of stamp your, your name on the map every time you go out on the baseball field? Yeah, we absolutely. We always try to play our best and show that we can beat a top team if if we really want to. All right, you mentioned Cooperstown, I know, but would you say that was your favorite field that you've ever played in? And if not, shout out some other uh, baseball fields that you've got to play on that you've really enjoyed. Cooperstown is definitely my number one, but there's a field in Kentucky. I don't remember where it's at. Uh, Lisbon Town or something like that. Elizabeth Town, that's what it is. And then uh, definitely Indiana. Uh, Grand Park. Grand Park in Indiana. All right, before we let you go, we're going get, to get you some rapid-fire questions so you get to know you a little bit off the field as well as we got to know you a lot on the field in this interview. Um, what is your favorite off-the-field memory with this team? Probably just – football and all the other stuff like after our first football game me and a couple friends went to waffle house and now i really like that place because it was the first time i ever went to waffle house uh what's your favorite post-game meal chicken and rice and a protein shake i lined you right up for waffle house i thought you were going to go right back to waffle house um what's your favorite breakfast food eggs eggs uh, on a bagel are you a night owl or a morning person? 
I'm more of a morning person. Uh, take us through a game day routine. Uh, go to school, get out of school, go home, use the restroom, <laughs> uh, and just get dressed and go to the field and warm up. Um, what is if, if there was a fire in your house, you could only save one thing, what would you save? My dog. What about it's like a um, an inanimate like all the all the living creatures were saved, and you had to save like an inanimate object. Probably my duck hunting. Probably my duck hunting stuff. Um, what's your favorite thing to do outside of baseball? Uh, uh that's a tough one because I do a lot of stuff. But my top favorite would probably be either duck hunting or fishing. What teammate do you text the most? Chase White and Cam. Um, would you rather be taller than you are right now or shorter than you are right now? Taller, way taller. Um, if we gave you a time machine, would you rather go forward in time or back in time? Forward, because I want to see what I can be, what I'll turn out to be. How far forward would you go to see that? Like, would you want to see where you are in twenty years? Are we talking like go five years? Where, where, what, what, uh, what time frame would you go forward in? Probably two years, just to my junior year. Uh, what's your guilty pleasure dessert? Uh, ice cream. What flavor ice cream? Cotton candy. And who makes the best ice cream? Tops and Sandusky. That's where I always get it from. Um, what is your proudest accomplishment on the baseball field so far in your career? Probably three home runs in Cooperstown. That was uh, – and playing with my brother, even though sometimes he can be boring. Is he pressuring you off camera? No. <laughs> um, what teammates uh, – is the best dancer on the team? Uh, probably Cam. A lot of the answers will be Cam. <laughs> Let's see if we can sweep. What teammate has the best style on the team? Mickey or Wyatt. How about Swagger? Who has the most Swagger on the team? Uh, that's Wyatt. Um, who's your favorite professional athlete? I don't know if you want to call him a professional athlete, but probably Jordan Lee. All right. Um, if you were to own a business, what would you want it to sell? Duck hunting equipment. Um, what's one thing? What's the one thing you hope to accomplish in the next two, ten years? Uh, getting as big as I possibly can in the gym, but also staying natural. Um. Uh, if you could pick an age to retire, what age would you want to retire? Probably 75. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the laughter off camera. It's, it's good. Um, what's your least favorite holiday? Leprechaun's Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the best Halloween costume you've, you've either seen or worn? Uh, it was like a Easter bunny, but it was like God, uh, nasty looking Easter bunny. Scary. All right, Jack. Uh, before we let you go, I want to give you the chance to thank the people that support you and the people that uh, give all the all the all the support in the world to you. Uh, I would like to thank my dad, my mom, my whole family, two guys, Nate and Mike, uh, all my teachers for just supporting me and pushing me to be the best I can. All right, Jack. Thanks for joining us today. Good luck the rest of the season. We'll talk to you real soon. Thank you.